Earn.gg is a website where you can earn free money. If you go to the Earn tab, you will see different providers offering video advertisements, and you can pretty much leave this running all day while you're gaming, and you will receive points. These points can be redeemed for real money, including Bitcoins and PayPal, as well as CSGO gambling websites and even gift cards. Make sure you check out the site down below in the description and use my referral link. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. We are still in the mountain town currently, and we're still going to be working on that today. We're going to be actually working on a lumber yard area. I've built some structures, and today we're going to be working on some details and kind of trying to put together some final touches to it, but it still might not be done by the end of today's episode. But again, I want to say thank you again for all the amazing support everyone's left on the last episode. If we can go and see if we can reach 200 likes for today's episode, that would be absolutely fantastic. So without further ado, do let's go ahead and get started and don't forget if you want to be part of the notification squad all you have to do is just simply hit that bell next to subscribe button as well so you guys are going to get that notification because recently youtube has been working i think i think they're they're fixing their game so that's exciting and let's get started with today's episode so what i've done is i actually currently started working on some smaller projects and getting the structures done so we can do some a lot of progress actually not some but a lot of progress in today's episode um and this is going to be the start of a lumber yard area so as you can see from the mountain town theme we've kind of opened up our little rustic home here including our abandoned mine um, that we might actually open up and try to make it into a mine that could be something we may do um, but this area over here is going to be a lumber yard area so over here we're gonna have the wood piled up we might have some water going down and over here we're gonna have another building that for honestly at the moment I don't know what it's going to be used as but it could probably just be used as something simple with just wood materials inside um, and then we're gonna have stairways going down here and over here we're just gonna have a big pile of, of wood all over the place and kind of areas that we can go ahead and get, collect ourselves some wood when we need to make bigger projects. So I think that's a cool idea. Let me know again what you guys all think in the comment sections. But like I said, a lot of you have been saying great feedback uh, since the last episode that you guys are really loving the way the series is starting to take take off now because now we're going into detail and we're really starting to work hard um, and I'm really happy to see that this is taking shape. So first I want to work on a little bit is the inside of this cabin. Uh, the first thing I want to do is actually start putting the bed in here. So that's what we're going to go ahead and try. I also have a slight cool idea that actually could be really interesting um and we're gonna see how this works out for us so i think we're gonna use uh let's see let's go ahead and get an item frame uh let's get we have our blocks that we're just gonna place on you guys are gonna see it's gonna look a little bit weird at first but i think it's going to make sense uh once you guys see it finally done so these blocks are just gonna be for now temporary so we can place the bed on top and now these can be removed uh we're gonna have a chest in the corner um, it's going to be like a small bunk bed because this is a very compact house. And I did want to change one more thing was the furnace. I want the furnace to face this way. That way we can use most of this wall instead of having this little corner. Uh, now over here what I want to add is actually we need some wood actually. So let's go ahead and grab uh, some logs. There we go. We'll go ahead and grab a log. We'll place it right over there. Um, and we could make some fences. I think if I don't have any fences we can go ahead and make some. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's go make some fences. Uh, it's pretty simple. I remember how to make the fences. I have not messed this one up. There we go. Perfect. We got six, uh, not fences. Did I say fences? I mean ladders. Jeez, Alex, and why do you always do this to yourself? All right, there we go. And now on this side, I'm trying to think what I want to add here. Uh, we could add a trap door. Let's go ahead and add a trap door possibly. There we go. And I think that should be the finishing touch for it. Honestly, this is really good. I'm liking it. This is actually a small compact area. You know, you can climb up here. You can go to sleep. You can put your items in there and it just looks really good. It's compact. So I'm pretty happy with that design so far. Let me know what you all think about that in the comment sections. And we're going to start right away by finishing up this kitchen slightly. Uh, what I mean by slightly is I don't know if we're going to have everything to complete the kitchen yet, uh, but we're going to go ahead and give it our best shot. So let's go ahead and grab some more wood. Uh, did I grab the one? No, I got, I got the right one. Okay, good. We're going to make some slabs. Slabs. And I'm thinking, you know what? Let's not use wood slabs. Let's go ahead and use stone slabs. Uh, there we go. Uh, perfect. All right. So let's make some stone slabs. Oh, not polished. There it is. Stone slabs. Perfect. I want to go with stone slabs because I think it will look kind of cool. So uh, if we do this, that's pretty simple as it is right there. We'll put one more. Obviously, I think we should actually change it where this block is on this side. And over here, we can try to add, like, a refrigerator. Uh, this is going to be interesting because I don't know how it's going to work. If we put a door right there. See, I don't think it's going to connect. I don't know why. I remember, like, 
people doing this and it worked perfectly fine there we go <laughs> there it is all right so we have our little uh i guess our little fridge obviously we have this door uh we could do an iron door but i don't have any iron left on me right now because i made all these beautiful rails that we're going to use for the for the lumber yard so okay this is not too bad um eventually it might change the door but it's pretty simple so far i think we could definitely go ahead and add some more chests we definitely need some storage space and i'm thinking the best storage space is probably just up here uh uh, let's see maybe we could do something like this a double chest maybe and let's see if we can add trap doors will trap doors look uh let's see if it looks good because i have a feeling uh do i not have the trap doors on me yes i do there it is i have a feeling this might not work but let's go give it a shot hey there we go okay cool you know what? this is looking great for a compact home and it doesn't even look that bad from here actually i kind of like this Alrighty, so let me know what you all think about this in the comment sections. I personally think this is a great step up from what it was before. It's compact, it's cozy, it's just what I want. We could probably add like a window over here. Um, for now, I think I'm going to leave it without any windows. But so far, I'm pretty happy with this. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment sections. And I think that's a good progress for the cabin. Um, and then eventually we'll work on the mine area. But for now, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some more supplies here. We're definitely going to need a lot of this. Um, so let's go ahead and just grab everything actually why not let's just grab everything we got and uh, Some fences. Let's get some dirt. Oh also I actually think we can make coarse dirt Which is something I didn't know about so there we go We can actually make coarse dirt which is absolutely insane because I never knew about it until now uh, Believe it or not so we can definitely add some coarse dirt around here um, So it looks kind of interesting. This is something I completely just forgot about and now it's time to like You know use it more around the builds and that's what we're definitely gonna be doing so stay tuned for that I mean, I'm gonna try to put in a little bit now. There we go just a bit just to change up some of the designs here we go definitely looks good i'm pretty happy with it i think coarse dirt would add some more uh you know contrast to everything because we're using a lot of the uh let's see if i say it right this time andesite there we go and gravel um and i think if we have some coarse dirt it'll look really really cool uh and saying about coarse dirt let's add some around here as well there we go. That'll be good enough for now. Uh, I don't want to overdo it, but we'll just put one more over here, and that's good enough for now. And we'll just store the rest of it inside the chest, and we're going to continue to go ahead and work on uh, the rest of this project. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to add this. That's why I used all my iron for the most part. Okay, we have to add, like, a sink. Uh, I think the sink's going to go right over here. Would that be a good area for the sink? You know what? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I think that's fine. Um, and then we have to add some water inside, and... There we go. Perfect. So we have our little sink. There we go. That's the complete picture for this house. That's what I was missing. I was like, I knew I built, I crafted something. And there it was. All right. Good thing we came back to check for that. All right. So let's go ahead and start working on this part of the area. Now, I'm going to work on the lumber yard. This is a bigger build. It might take some more time. But in the meantime, I actually might just build up the foundation a, a little bit because I want it to be even with this. So this is where the doors are going to be. So we definitely have to make it even with everything. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some cobblestone. Here we go. Make it a little bit even. And definitely working with the ground as well. I want to like make it look like it's fit into the ground. Uh, so this is perfect, actually. We could definitely take this block out and replace it right there. Um, and then everything else is going to have to match up. So I might as well take these down. Okay, there we go. And then the rest can just match up simply like this. We'll just go and plant them randomly. That's the whole idea. Just all randomly placed. And at the end of the day, it looks quite good. Um, so let's go ahead and continue to do that. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. And then same with this side. It's just going to be all random. Now, sometimes I do match up the blocks like the same way. So I don't. I, I usually try not to do that. But sometimes you can't really run away from that. It just happens. So here we go. Let's try to head and do that. Perfect. And we just need one more layer. And that's pretty much the complete version for the foundation of this. Now, I don't know what I want to do for the bottom of this place. I'm thinking maybe we can try and have something like a doorway coming from the bottom. Or we can have some other type of idea that you guys may have in the comment sections. I'd really appreciate if you guys let me know what I should do for it. And yeah, there we go. That's the perfect foundation for it. Um, and then we're going to add a floor. And down here, oh great, it has to be raining. I think we can actually grab some rest uh, because it is thundering. And we do not want to be out here when it's thundering. Well, let's go ahead and get some sleep. There we go. Perfect. That's actually the benefit. I mean, I really do like working in the mountain town area. So uh, we're definitely going to be staying here for the next few episodes. 
There we go. Rain is away, and we're good to go with another fresh day to start our day. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, this is where the floor is going to go. Basement, I have no idea what we're going to do, but it's just a work of progress. But let's work with this here. So, uh, let's get rid of that, and let's start thinking of what I want to do. So, the first thing is I think we're going to still work with the same theme, just old, uh, old like, broken down foundation would look kind of nice, I think. Here we go. Let's do that. And then over here, we can add possibly, let's go with some cobblestone and there we go perfect so there's going to be like an, an entrance so we got to make some stairs actually and i think that's the easy way we could definitely make some stairs here um actually will will it work i mean i don't know i want to make some stairs why is it not there we go let's see that's so weird like i want to know why i can't craft stairs uh whatever i guess we're just gonna have to use this for now wait there we go so you have to go to a crafting table to craft some stairs all right, fair enough. We'll go with some cobblestone stairs. Uh, that's that's more than enough. Perfect. 12 is definitely good. There we go. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do that over here. So I'm thinking just some stairs right here is perfect. Um, and that's more than enough. Let's go ahead. Did I leave my bread? Okay, we have some food to eat up. So as we walk in here, I did mention I would like to have like a waterway to go down. Uh, and I think that would be kind of cool. So we can definitely try and try that right now, actually. So we're going to need to get some water, which I think we should have plenty of. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. Perfect. There we go. Nice. All right. I mean, these two are mixed, so we can actually just do this. Swap them real quick. So those will be swapped. Perfect. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it's the same thing. I didn't think that one through. All right. So we'll just do this. Here we go. Much better. So let's go ahead and actually take out the floor. And we can put on the bottom of this just some stone. So let's go ahead and put some stone on the bottom. What do we have a lot of? We can actually just use gravel. We'll just use gravel for now. I think that's fair enough. Here we go. So we'll have gravel down there. Let's go ahead and get some more water. I think we still have our bucket on us. No, we do not. Let's go ahead and get some water because this is going to be an area where I know that lumberyards do use some water. So that's what we're going to use it for right now. And I'm trying to think, where did I see? You know what? Uh, let's go see if there's a water area down here. I thought I saw a pond or something in the distance around here. So we'll go ahead and, and fetch some water. I think there was something on this side. If I, if I remember correctly, yep, there we go. There is some water. And I do see a spider, but forget about that spider. Let's go back to our little build here. Here it is. All right. So now before I let the water go down the hill, it's going to be a mess if I do that. So we're going to have to control it. Um, so in the meantime, what we're going to do is we are going to use oak wood for the foundation here. Or for the flooring there it is i think that'll look kind of decent so you come up here and you have the water going down uh now it's not going to be easy because we're going to have to push it from like up here so it actually flows out of here so we might actually have to uh we've tried to do this probably maybe that's the distance we should have it so the water starts from here i think that's fair enough so the water will start from here and what we could do is we can actually start working on the design for how the water should actually flow out. So I'm thinking we can actually have something like this. So let's go ahead and try this. So we have on top a stair. Let's see, do we have any more stairs left over? Yeah, we do. Perfect. So a stair piece can go right on top, remove the bottom. There we go. And the water will come out from here. So around it, we can fill it in with something. We got to figure out what we want to fill this in with. I mean, we could easily just do this. Hold on just do this and then close it oh i forgot i can't go down because of the slabs all right there we go um and then on this side we could probably just put slabs i think i have a few leftover slabs there we go so the water can just simply just flow out we don't even need this top part it will just flow out from the top so let's go ahead and test this out why not let's see if it works out the way i was hoping it would work out and does it reach oh just almost enough okay so we probably have to break a few of the blocks there it is, and now it's all done. So it's going to flow all the way down. We're going to have an area that's going to be a big pond, and some logs are going to be trying to flow in the water, um, and it's actually quite perfect. So that's perfect over there. It's going to keep going until it wants to stop. But for now, we're just going to leave it like this. Uh, of course, I do want to fix this part here. So what we could do is just probably put those two like that. And I know that didn't fix this, but if I do that, maybe it'll fix it. So let's go ahead and try that as, as here as well. And we're probably going to need some dirt, so let's grab some dirt. Here we go. And we'll put the last stair piece that we have, or a few stair pieces, to make it look a little bit even. There we go. So I'm pretty happy with that. Not too bad. We'll probably just do this as well. Same with this side. So let's put some dirt right there. And block it off. Perfect. 
So that's good enough. You know, I'm happy with that. It's it's simple. Um, and it's going to be pushing out the water into the area where we're going to have... Look, it's just expanding out there. All right, for now, we're going to put a stop to this because it's just overflowing. We're going to have to make this pond uh, soon enough. But this was just like a trial, so it looks like it's working uh, quite well. Except that it kind of opened up too much into the distance, which is why we're going to have a pathway built so that that doesn't have to happen again. So there we go. That's just the work of progress. So there we go. Awesome. So, so far, this is what we have right now. Obviously, we're still going to be developing it, and we're still going to work on it in the next few episodes, but it's still it's still a work of progress. So I'm so far, I'm happy. It's not too bad. I do want to add some more of the foundation on this side, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's get some andesite, andesite. Oh, when will I ever fix that? I don't think I ever will. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and put that there, and perfect. All right, that's good enough, and we just need to do this side, and that's perfect. All righty. So it looks good to me. We can definitely add some lumber down there. So we'll go ahead and do that because we are getting close to the end of the episode. It's crazy how fast an episode will go by. Um, but over here, it's very difficult. We're probably going to work on this in the next episode, to be fair with you all. So that's what we're probably going to do in the next episode. We will work on this building to complete it. Um, and it's going to be an area that's just going to have any type of wood-made stuff uh, from the lumber. Um, and we can go ahead and just pick it up from here when we're done. So we can probably just work on the pathway this will follow. But for now, let's go down here and show you guys what I have in mind. So we're going to start off by starting some basic areas for the woods just to be sitting. So we're going to have, for example, I'll show you guys the whole process of this. It's pretty simple, but we're going to have some wood just laying around over here. So for now, we're just going to start off by laying down a few here. Just world edit this a little bit. <laughs> yeah, world edit. <laughs> no, we're just going to shovel it out. But here we go. So let's go ahead and place down log center here. So this will be the center piece. We'll just do the same on this side like so. These will be taken out of the way. We'll expand it by one more here. And then we'll place the same thing on this side. Perfect. Uh, we just got to remove this one and make sure it's flat. There we go. And now we're just going to add some rails. As you guys can see, really simple. They attach back to the ground like they're holding them. You guys have seen this design all over the place. I know you guys have. It's nothing new. But this is how the whole design is going to start to process out. We're going to have a lot of these all around here. Some falling down trees. The ground is going to be retextured. But look how awesome this wall is looking. That's just looking great. So I'm thinking over here we have to have some type of entrance uh, or exit way that we can actually go down and just exit through this way if we'd really like so we can even add like a door over here and that could be a progress we can start to make where you just simply you just come out here and you're into the lumber and we can even expand it so it looks something like this let's go ahead and try this quickly let's go ahead and try this project actually I'm, I'm kind of willing to see how this would work out so obviously we used a lot of the the wood so I don't want to make another wood log here I want to use just different uh, resources. So let's go ahead and try to use, let me just fill this back up. Let's go ahead and try to use maybe polished andersite. Maybe that would look kind of cool. So we could do something like this. And then in between, we need some stairs. We need some cobblestone walls. Let's go ahead and you know what? We'll just craft them here. We'll just craft them over here. Just make a crafting table. There we go. We'll place one down right here. And we need to make cobblestone stairs. So do we have any more cobblestone left? Do we not have any more cobblestone left? Hold on. There's no way. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was worried for a second. I was like, how did we run out of cobblestone? All right, so this will be the design where it's just kind of two uh, supporting cobblestone walls. There we go. Just simple like this. And on the top, we can definitely fill in with our last piece of cobblestone stair. And that's pretty much it. It's a simple design. So as you just walk out, you're kind of where you want to be, which is right here. And we have all this open space that we are going to be working on. But you know what? This is actually looking quite cool. I do like that. I think that's good. I like that. It adds a little bit of, uh, of something different to the build. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. But I do like it. I think it's quite cool. I wonder, could we add like anything around here? No, we don't need railings. What am I doing? I want to add, let's see. Uh, do I have anything that I possibly... Oh, we could possibly add some trap doors maybe. Um, something like this, possibly. That doesn't look too bad. Or better off, we'll add actual uh, flags. We'll just add a flag, like a banner, that will just sit on these two sides for now. Uh, but for, for the meantime, we could just leave it like this, and I think that looks just fine. So, I mean, we might even just leave it like that. I kind of like that. Can we even put it on this side? Yeah, but then we can't put it on that side. So that's fine. Okay. We'll just leave it how it is. And over here, we can just add uh, just the inside. We'll clear it up. 
and then we'll probably have like a downstairs level. So that's looking pretty good, guys. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to hit that like button. So far, we're making progress. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. We did a lot of progress with designing the interior of this place, which is looking, I'd say, pretty, pretty nice. And uh, and this side here is, is taking its shape. So in the next episode, we'll still be here. We'll still be working. And we'll get this place up and running uh, in, in no time. So it's going to look awesome. So thanks again for all the support on the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. If you would like to see more, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that little bell as well to be part of the notification squad. And other than that, don't forget to hit that like button. And let me know any feedback down below in the comment sections. My name is Alex, and Peace out and stay foxy.